Scientists are struggling to uncover the true identity of dark matter. To date, the best candidate is a theoretical particle known as a wimp. But because wimps can pass through ordinary matter like a ghost, the researchers have been left empty-handed. Not only could dark matter be going through me right now, but it almost certainly is, and I'm just not noticing it. And this is why we're building these very fancy detectors here on Earth to try to catch them. Until scientists can capture and analyze a WIMP, all bets are off. The main challenge for the WIMP theory is that we simply haven't found any WIMPs yet. And we've been looking pretty hard for, for a lot of years, and pretty soon it's gonna start to get embarrassing. Perhaps dark matter isn't made of WIMPs. Perhaps the stuff that makes up dark matter is stranger and more complex than we ever thought possible. We know that regular matter comes in many different forms. There are electrons and protons, neutrons, quarks, all of those. Why should we assume there's only one kind of dark matter? Our approach could be all wrong. Instead of looking for a single type of particle, there could be an entire zoo of dark matter particles. Particles of ordinary matter interact with each other to form atoms and molecules, the stuff we touch and see. If dark matter is made from different particles, it could do the same. Interacting and building dark atoms of dark stuff. Perhaps even a universe of dark materials. If we can show that dark matter interacts with itself, that means there really could be dark matter galaxies, dark matter stars, dark matter planets and people all around us right now that we were not aware of.